mushrooms, friends. I don't know from a distance they look like honey mushrooms, but they don't look so close like honey mushrooms. They're probably poisonous. So let's look at our field guide. Take a score print. One's growing on the roots of an oak tree. And I'm not sure what the other, this other tree here is. That it's growing on, but it's growing here. Mushrooms by Gary H. Then cough, I think is how it's pronounced. Let's check this out real quick. Get back to you. Center does coloring, whitish gills, and stock with white to cream ring on wood. Oval, wide, 
becoming convex to newly flat, sticky to dry, yellow to rust brown, often with blackish, ebrick, hair like scales. Gills attached or slightly descending, stalk nearly distant, narrow, whitish staining yellow to reddish. So far, it sounds just like these. Let's see here. Ah, spore. That's a spore print, what we want to know. Uh, let's see. Smooth, colorless, nano amyloid. Spore print is white. Eat with caution, it says. Uh, here in California, these usually grow between December and February, and it's December. Uh, the rest of the country, as this season is usually August through September, November. California, December, February. Cluster at bases and near stumps or trees, also in open areas. Range is widely distributed in North America. Lookalikes. Uh, so sure, I can't pronounce. So yeah, don't eat it if you're not sure. Yeah, there's definitely some poisonous ones, it says in here. It says, uh, while this is an excellent edible, it must be well cooked, even so, some people may experience stomach upset. This is a complex of nearly identical species, many of which have toxic lookalikes. The most dangerous of these are listed above. The honey produces string-like runners or rhizome rhizomorphs which can extend as far as 100 meters and from which additional fruiting bodies grow. One specimen discovered was estimated to be more than 450 years old. Honey mushroom. So let's we'll leave these for a while longer and check our small prints later. Let's go out and videotape some more of these fascinating mushrooms. on these things up. There's some more. Right there. There's those ones that we were just looking at. Pretty sure these are called honey mushrooms. I personally am not going to eat them because I'm not an expert mycologist. Right up off that root there. That's what I'm saying. There's some more. Coming off this oak tree. I just find that quite fascinating. There's another big old mushroom right there. things are because the supermarket's close. We may be desperate enough to try. Some mushrooms. But you want to know if they're gonna kill you or not. Quite interesting. Alright, so we found another bat. quite fibrous. That is a huge, huge honey mushroom patch. So I'm pretty sure those are the honey mushrooms you have seen. Little black caps. Black hairs on top. There's some more there. Honey mushroom. For everyone, it must be cooked thoroughly. At least we think they are. We'll find out for sure after we uh, get a spore print. Just come on here, on these trees, on my new place. Squirrels are a little pissed off at me. They were over here munching 
happened on these mushrooms when I came over here and chopped them up to look. But, um, something I wanted to show you guys when I was looking. See the spore print under the mushrooms? It looks like it's white. I haven't been able to tell on the ones we harvested yet. They haven't dropped too much, too many spores for me to tell, but... I'm looking at the leaves under these mushrooms here. Yeah, see, look. White spore print. There we go. White spore print. And they are staining yellowish green when they get damaged. They're very fibrous. You know, the squirrel fighting me? He's so mad. Right up behind the tree. Yeah. White spore prints on these plants indicate that these are definitely honey mushrooms. Um, you want to cook them very well before you're eating, eating them. I can see all the leaves with white spore prints on them. Mushrooms. know for sure until we uh, check the spore print on the black paper that we're doing. Alright, so we've been trying to get a spore print off these for at least 12 hours. I've been busy all day. It's dark now, and I'll sit down and pet it, have a brew, and I remember these mushrooms. And then we were only able to look at the spore print on the leaves. Let's see if we captured a spore print on the paper underneath all this protective junk I put on here. Alright, we've got some mushroom samples here. Let's look at this one. I definitely see white. Although I need to get the shiny black paper to do this. Oh yeah, there's good, good white right there. Look at that, you can definitely tell. Okay, so these are definitely honey mushrooms. Growing right here by my new place. This one should have quite a bit underneath it. Oh yeah, so that's the ribbon of white. There's a nice spore print under there as well. and see if there's some more we'll mix them up. Honey mushroom. They're out here locally in the suburbs of Central California in December, December 29th. All right, it's been oh, like a day and a half. I want to say like 36 hours, I think it's been. We checked these last night. We had some white spore prints, but we've left them even longer and we're sober this time and it's daytime, so let's look. Yes, look at that white spore print. Oh yeah, look at that one. <laughs> Definitely white. These are honey mushroom. For sure. Get some spores falling off of these guys too. Oh yeah, white. Very white. Get some pictures of those. 